On February 26, 2023, during routine patrol duties, a vigilant officer noticed a vehicle traveling at an excessive speed, potentially posing a risk to public safety. The officer took immediate action to address the violation and uphold traffic regulations, ensuring the safety of all road users. Are you aware that your driver's license is suspended? Sorry. What is it? Are you aware that your driver's license is suspended? No. And it's suspended in... For what? Uh, all I see from Alabama shows it's suspended um, back in December of 2022. For what? I don't know. All I see is it's suspended. Well, that's what I would like... For what? Uh, all I see is it's suspended. I don't know the details. Uh, if it was Florida, I could give you the details, but if it's Alabama, I can't give you the details because all I see is suspended. The officer conducted a routine traffic stop, requesting the female driver to cooperate in an investigation. However, what they uncovered astonished everyone involved. As the officer commenced the investigation, it became evident that the female driver was heavily intoxicated, displaying resistance to cooperating with the officers and refusing to provide any pertinent information. I see it suspended. So what do I do? You, know, you can't drive. I have a girlfriend. Like, I'm literally going to Gulf Breeze. I'm just trying to get to my no, girlfriend. No, you can't go to Gulf Breeze because you now, you now that you know that your license is suspended, if you drive. continue to drive in Florida, you will be arrested in Florida. That's what, that's what I was looking for when he pulled me over because I knew that I had gotten a ticket and and she told me, she said, if you get pulled over, she was like, make sure you have all of this on you. Well, any paperwork that you show me now won't do you any good because I have to go with what my computer shows. And if my computer shows is suspended, any paperwork, I can't verify that. Okay. Uh, how far does your girlfriend live from here? Um, she is almost to the Gulf Breeze Loop. Upon persistent insistence, the female reluctantly produced her identification, revealing that her license had expired several months prior. Despite this revelation, she appeared nonchalant, driving without concern for the expired license. Her behavior suggested a lack of awareness or disregard for the seriousness of driving without a valid license. The officer's discovery added another layer of concern to the situation, indicating not only a violation of traffic regulations, but also potential negligence on the part of the driver. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Got hey. anybody? Yes, sir. Got anybody? No. All right. Step out so I can play some paperwork to you. I've issued you two citations. The first citation I've issued you is for your speed on Navarre Parkway. Um, this citation is for 68 miles an hour and a post of 45. That citation is $281. I've served you two options. Option one, you can pay the citation online by phone or in person. Option um, five is a driver improvement court, I'm sorry, is a traffic court. You'll be there, I'll be there, and a hearing officer will decide what happened with the citation. I would contact the clerk of the court since you live in Alabama to see if you can take a driver improvement course. I'm not for sure since you live in Alabama, but I would call and Center, check. Is it 67, 10 4 10 You have any questions for me on that? 10 4 The next citation I'm issuing you is a citation for unknowingly driving while your license is suspended. Now that you know your license is suspended, you can't operate a motor vehicle in the state of Florida. If you mm -hmm. do, you're subject to be arrested. Okay. Okay. This citation is $160. I've so two options on there. Option one, you can put the citation online by phone or in person. Option five is traffic court. If you choose to do so, I want to test the citation and the traffic stop. Any questions on that? So from here, should I Uber? From here? Mm -hmm. Well, you got to figure out what you're going to do with your car because it's on. Well, I just didn't want to continue to keep driving. Okay. Um, 
both of these you have 30 days. If you don't pay it in 30 days or make an election in 30 days or contact the course in 30 days, the we your driver's license will become suspended. In other words, Florida will issue you a Florida driver's license number and suspend it. Or they'll contact Alabama so they can suspend your driver's license for non-payment in Florida. You understand those? I get it. Like, I get what you're saying, mm -hmm. but I'm just trying to get out of this situation as of right now. Like, you're telling me that my license is suspended and mm -hmm. then I don't need to drive, but mm -hmm. I, I'm trying to call people and I don't know. I don't know what move to make, so I don't want to like pull out of here and you pull me over. And you're like you're not supposed to drive, mm -hmm. but at the same time, like I can't sit on the side of the road, so I'm trying to figure out what I should do. Like I didn't, I had no idea that my license was suspended, or I would have never even gone out tonight. I would have never even came over here. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just gonna call. Like, what do I do? Uh, well, I, I can't 30. give you any type of legal advice. I can only do what well, I can do. You're a police officer like this. I, I, can't, do. I, know, I can't give you legal advice. I can't give you legal advice. So, like, do I, like, I, like, I can't, like, do I get in my car and sit there? Or, like, do I, I don't know what to do. The officer, noting the female's behavior, suspected she was intoxicated. When questioned about her alcohol consumption that evening, she adamantly denied having consumed any alcohol, despite displaying classic signs of inebriation. Her refusal to acknowledge her intoxication further complicated the situation, raising concerns about her ability to operate a vehicle safely. That's the decision that you have to make on who you're going to call. You can call a tow truck, you can call an Uber and go to your friend. Okay. Okay. My next question to you is, how much have you had to drink? No, it's not even about that. My next it's question is, how much have you had to drink? My next question is, how much have you had to drink? Nothing on that level. Okay. I'm I, just more concerned about... Right, I believe that you're intoxicated, that your normal faculties are impaired. I'm more worried about, I just don't want to pull off, and you're sitting here telling me that my license is suspended. Mm -hmm. I'm perfectly fine with calling a friend mm -hmm. and telling them to come get me. I'm okay with that, but... I would much rather, like, of course, go home and not have to involve anyone. But that's what I'm trying to say. Like, if I need to, like, I, I'm not about to go sit in that car and, like, Correct. pull off and then you, like, Correct. try to call somebody on me and then I get in more trouble. Like, I'm, no. I understand. No, I have, well, I have way too much of my life going on for that to happen. Mm -hmm. So I'd much rather, like, call someone. So that's what I'm trying to say. Like, where, like. Okay. I believe that you're intoxicated. That's normal faculties are impaired. Okay, in other words, I believe that you're intoxicated and or pretty much drunk. Not at all. But I will so, I I will not get behind that. Car. So as of right now, we're moving to a DUI investigation. My question to you is would you be willing to do field sobriety tests to dispel my suspicion? I just wanna go home. That wasn't a question. No. The question was I am not. At this point, I ain't had the night from fucking hell. Okay. I just want to go home. Well, at this point. On every level at this point, yeah. I have been, I've had a night from fucking hell, and I just want to go home. I'm not doing anything wrong. At this point, that is passed. If you don't want to do spills of bright tests, that's your right. However, do understand that your any mission or your failure not to do fields of bright tests could be used against you in court. That's a consequences so for what? refusing to do FSTs. I can't make you, can't for force what? you for a field sobriety test. For what? Because I'm asking if you're willing to do field sobriety tests. For what? Because I believe that you're intoxicated, that's no effects are impaired. What do you need me to do? You want me to walk the line? I'm asking if you're willing to do field yes. sobriety tests. You want me to walk the line? Right. I'm right there. Can, at this point, can I call, like, yeah, can I grab my phone? Real quick. No, you're gonna stand right there. Sixty-seven. Like. Sixty-seven. Get back over here. Sir, I'm sorry, but I'm not. Center, Sixty-seven. Do you have traffic? Okay. 
Is this what you're doing? Good morning. You want a second one? I'm sorry if I offended you. You didn't offend me. I did, obviously. No, you didn't. I have a job to do. The young female harbored a sense of entitlement, presuming her parents' influence could shield her from repercussions. She naively believed their intervention could override the law enforcement's actions during the traffic stop, showcasing a disregard for accountability and an overestimation of familial authority. I did the I'm mission. Sorry. I did the I mission. Go out I did the mission of the traffic stop by taking care of what I need to take care of. I got you out, and I want to talk to you at the car. I've already observed the signs of impairment while I was talking to you. <laughs> right here on the push bumper. Apparently, we don't listen. Right here. If you're not listening, I want to put you back in my car. Right here by the push button. You don't want to listen? I'm calling my parents. Right there by the push bumper. And, and if you and if you walk, me? keep walking. You want to if you keep walking, I will put you in the back of my car. Get back over here. I'm just calling my parents. I don't parents. care. Do what I say. I just needed you to know where I'm at and what is going on in this situation. Again, get back over here by the car. The lady's behavior escalated into irrationality, defying the officer's instructions and insisting on contacting her father to evade charges. Her desperation to involve her father revealed a misguided belief that familial influence could absolve her from accountability. This refusal to cooperate and insistence on external intervention underscored her disregard for authority and responsibility. Well, of course, Daddy. Like, at the same time, though, I'm, I mean, I want you to know what's going on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, they're here. Okay. All right. I love you. Back by my push bump. It's just my dad. Well, that's how. I just want that's how things to start. Where I'm that's at. how things start to escalate no, when you don't I listen. My daddy. I want my dad to know where I'm at. 
Anyway, uh, 68 miles an hour, I got her on radar. When I come up here and stop her, I'm talking to her. I smell the oil of alcohol. I can see bloodshot water in her eyes. She's talking with a slower speech. I do my thing back here. I issue her citations, and the same indicators on the pyramid are exhibited while standing here that I saw in the car by issuing her these tickets. Uh, when I talked to her, she said that she's willing to do field sobriety tests, so uh, she may change her mind. So I'll ask again. Are you still willing to do field sobriety tests? Okay, what it is, okay, I'm going to check your eyes. I'm going to make sure you can walk a straight line. I'm going to make sure you can balance. Okay. Is that good enough with you? Yeah. All right. Can I call him again? Uh, if you can hold on for that, okay. But he just wants to be on the phone. Okay, well, you're not going to be near your phone. Like, you're not going to be able to hold it because you're going to have to have like your arms down by your side, stuff like that. So you're not going to be able to hold it at the time. No. Okay. I'm just... I understand. Did you tell him where you're at? My father. I understand. I told him what it, where I'm at. I told him the situation. Mm -hmm. I told him what's going on. He said, do what I'm told to do. He said, but make sure I'm present. That he's present? Okay, is he coming? Nope, but he said, call him on the phone. He wants to be involved. Okay, well, would you be okay... If we call him, put him on speaker and let yeah, my partner hold the phone? You talk to him the whole time. Well, I'm going to have my hands full, too. So would you mind if my partner holds the phone? I'll hold it. Daddy. Yeah. Hey. Um, Hey, Wilson, can you walk her over there into the parking lot so we're off the road? I think they're, um, I'm not sure what I'm doing. We're, we're going to walk right over here. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting mad. I'm not. Because the whole reason I'm over here is because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not mad. Daddy, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm annoyed. Cassie got me over here for the damn reason. Came over here for her. I know, I, I know. I'm just gonna hang in right here. Here I am, and I'm, I'm here right now. What is it? I guess he's pulling that line right there. Hold on, Daddy. I gotta go. Daddy, okay, I love you. This one? I think so. This one? Yeah. We'll let him, let, wait just a minute, let him get started. Do a cartwheel? Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Dad's still on phone? No. No? no okay. Because he thinks I'm going to get more trouble with him on the phone. Well, potentially, okay. Um, would you be comfortable setting it on the hood of my car? Sitting on the hood of setting my Setting your phone. For what? So that way it's out of your hands. Or I can hold it. Later. Yeah, or my partner can hold it. It's up to you at that point, but it needs to be out of your hands for this, okay? I mean, I'm, look, at this point, Therefore. I'm a female. It's you. It's you. It's me. Everything we're doing is recording. He's been nice enough to let you hold on to the phone and call your dad already. Look, I'm, so I'm, look, at this point, this is just me. I'm, I understand. I'm Every, everything we're doing dark. is recorded. Just, just. So I'm going to hold this flashlight up, okay? Don't stare at it. It's just so I can see your eyes. Despite the officer's request, the lady adamantly refused to undergo field sobriety tests, insisting she was not intoxicated. Her refusal to participate suggested either a lack of awareness of her impairment or an attempt to conceal it. This resistance hindered the officer's ability to accurately assess her level of intoxication and pose challenges in ensuring road safety. I need you to follow this green light with your eyes and your eyes only, okay? You're going to keep your head perfectly still. You understand those instructions? Do you understand the instructions? Do you want to keep my head still or my eyes still? You keep your head still, and whenever I move this, you're going to follow it with your eyes only. You understand that? Yeah. Okay, can you put your feet back together for me? Oh. Arms down at your side, just nice and relaxed. Okay, keep your head perfectly still, okay? Arms at your side, please. Am I supposed to be following it? Yeah, follow it with your eyes. Keep your head still. Okay, so keep your nose pointed at me 
and then follow the light with your eyes. I like this. This is something my dad used to do. Was your dad a cop? Nope. He was just a dad of three daughters. I hear you. You said he had four? Yeah. So this one's probably going to be the easiest one that we're going to do. All right. All I need you to do, one more time, feet back together, heels and toes touching. Okay. You're going to relax your arms by your side. All right. When I tell you to begin, you're going to tilt your head back, close your eyes, and count in your head what you think 30 seconds would be. Okay. So you're going to be your own stopwatch. Does that make sense? So you just count to 30? Yeah, not as fast as you can go, not as slow as you can go, what you think 30 seconds is. That makes sense? It's like if I hit start on a stopwatch, mm -hmm. stopped it at 30 seconds, you're going to do that inside of your head. Okay. Okay? So you just lean back and count to 30? Yep, you're just going to tilt your head back, close your eyes, count to 30. Okay. Okay? Arms down by your side, nice and relaxed, all loosey-goosey. Okay, like feet together or apart? Feet together. All right, whenever you're ready. Just tilt your head back, back. Tilt your head back. Close your eyes. Count to thirty. Ooh. Arms by your side. Okay. At this time, you are going to be placed under arrest for DUI. Okay. Those aren't too tight on you, are they? I literally did nothing. You want to come with me? We're going to go to the passenger side of my car, okay? Okay. We can either have you walk or we can make you walk. I don't want to have to make you, okay? Can you come back? Like, I need, we'll, I need we'll, to come back. I need we will let you call your dad, but we got to get in the car first, no. okay? No. Don't pull away from me. Okay, I've been very polite to you this entire time, so please do not start arguing a fight with me now, okay? Okay, come on. not resisted at all. Okay. And I've been very... And I've been very... Watch around this curb right here. Here, watch out. Don't pull away, come on. Make you treat me this way? Alright, step down. Step down for me. There you go. I've been nothing. I've been very polite this entire time. I'm so bad. If I have to ask you one more time to stop pulling away from me, I will tack nothing. on that additional charge, you understand? Go ahead and have a seat for me. Please call my parents. We will call your parents in just a minute. Go ahead and have a seat for me. I don't trust you people. Sit down, please. Can you please call them now so they're aware of what is happening? They will this be moment? aware. Please sit down. I need someone other than the three down. of you. I just need someone else to yep. witness this, please. It's Don't worry, it's all on I camera. I need a female, please. No, I'm asking for a female to be that. present. And I need someone else to be present here. I don't trust this. And I'm okay. sorry. Listen to me very carefully. No. They are about to pull you into this car, you understand? The female's defiance towards law enforcement and refusal to obey the officer exacerbated her situation, worsening her legal standing. By resisting authority, she only intensified the gravity of the circumstances she faced, potentially leading to more severe consequences for her actions. Respectful with you. And that's all that I'm asking you. Hey, pass me that seatbelt. Stay sitting there for me. We're gonna put this over your head so it's not choking on you, okay? Okay. Where do your parents live? Where do your parents live? I have nothing else to say to you until you let me speak to them. Okay. Well, we're about to. Okay. Then call them. We're about to. We one got face zero ID. Three zero. One zero three zero. You see okay. it there? Pop. Yep. Hey. Hey. Hey, is this Dad? Hey, yes, sir. All right, this is Deputy Jones with the Sheriff's Office. Yes, sir. 
Hey, I'm just letting you know that your daughter was currently placed under arrest for driving under the influence. Okay. But yet hasn't taken the breathalyzer. We're in Santa Rosa. Okay. Um, where where do you live at? I live in uh, basically a little town called Axis, Alabama. No, you're over in Alabama. Okay. Does she have any family members who live close to Navarre, Florida? Uh, she has one of her best friends who is from there. Yeah, Navarre. four hours ago. Cassidy. Okay. Yeah, she has one of her best friends who is right there. That's where I was going. Okay. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to get a hold of Cassidy to see if she can come get your daughter's vehicle so that way we don't have to tow it. Okay. Okay, if Cassidy is unable to come get it for whatever reason, we will have to tow it so it's not on the side of the road. Okay. Daddy, please. Okay. Would you like to talk to your dad real quick? Well, yeah. Would you like to talk to your dad real quick? <laughs> like, I don't know what he's saying. Like... I don't know, Daddy. I don't have. A, I can't use my phone. Like I've been trying to call everybody to please come get me all night. All right. Okay. Can we come get her? Well, please. Yeah. Like please. Daddy, trying to contact you, Daddy. Daddy, I can't use my phone. The police officer has it. You asked to call your dad first. I've been obviously trying to call her. Like, obviously. <laughs> I have no other reason to be over here. Calm down. Calm down. You're not helping anything. Calm down. Calm down. Try to call Cassidy real quick. To come Daddy? Okay. Okay. So, sir, just to let you know, we're going to hang up the phone. We're going to call her, okay? Okay. All right. Hold on. Again, I ain't passing you the phone. Calm down. You're going to watch everything that I do. So put your arms down. I don't need you hurting yourself. Well, okay. obviously, I'm not capable. I know. Stop. I'm a human. We're not going to do that. C-A-S-S. -S -S -S. Cassie A. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 I mean, I don't know how she's going to get my car. Well, she can have she's somebody. person. She can have somebody bring her out here. Oh, God. This is so fucking dumb. Okay, we'll try one more time. Just call my daddy again. Just right. hang up. Well, let's... Okay. She's not going to answer. Not. Everybody. Can you listen to my sergeant explain what he's got to explain real quick? Then we'll call your dad. Oh, did you? Okay, we'll call your dad just one more time out of courtesy, okay? in my car, like, whatever you have, like, use it. I will pay for every bit of it, like, it's, go, my, my bank card, my, my card is in my car, can I get, at least get my purse out of my car, so you, you want to take your, use my debit card? Do you want to take your purse with you? Yes. Okay, we can so do can that. So can at least use my debit card okay. to pay for all of it? Hey, Wilson. It is in there. Can you get her purse out? I mean, this okay. is bullshit. Do you have like a little handbag wallet? I mean, literally called that The officer, recognizing her intoxicated state, opted to arrest her. However, she vehemently resisted, screaming at the officer. Her combative behavior escalated the situation, posing challenges for the officers and further complicating her legal predicament. Is it like a little wallet type is that purse a, or? Is that a heart? Obviously. Okay, so instead of us taking your whole purse, are you okay Thank if we you. just take your wallet? So that way we have all your cards and everything else? Maddie, don't you need to take your whole purse? Obviously. Okay, okay we can do that. Thank you. Okay. Oh, 
All right, but just please call me Maddie when you make sure that that it has. Um, will you open it and make sure that it has a um a key ring with a big bright pink key on it? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of sparkly. Car. Well, it has one of my car keys on it. Yes. Yes. It's got my, it's, yeah. Is, that, is there another key in the car? No. That's it. Okay. Because they're going to need a key for the car. That's it. Okay. You'll mm -hmm. hold on to that. No. I, I just okay. need a key to the car so that they can get it on the tow truck so it doesn't damage the car. Uh, okay. But that's I still, like, It's just going to be the car key. Yeah. Yeah. I'll yeah. So no, that's fine. All righty, sir. So we're about to wrap no, this up over here. Is there anything so else that you'd like to say to your daughter? I need to make sure I can get home. Yes, sir. I'll make sure that message gets passed across, okay? Well, uh, Daddy. Daddy. Here, one second. Daddy. Oh, okay, so where are you taking me? Santa Rosa County Jail in Milton. So how to get out of there? Whenever you are able to blow under 8.05, okay, you're going to have a bond, and once you pay your bond, you're out. Can't do that by myself. Yeah, you should be able to. As long as you got what the money for it. Should I be able to? Like as long as you got cards and everything else, like you have the ability to pay for it. I have the money. Well, that's what I'm saying. As long as you well, have the ability to pay I for mean, it. I know all y'all care about is money. I just need to make sure that like I can physically. Okay, yeah. As long as you, well, get, as long as you have the, the bottom money. Bottom line, all it comes down to, the city wants money. Calm down. We don't get any money. Well, I know you don't. No, wait, Believe me, I know y'all gonna get shit. Okay. Alrighty, sir. I will make sure that she gets uh, yeah, your phone you number written down, you. okay? Thank you. All right, thanks, sir. Bye. We're going to put it in the trunk. So that way you can see, okay? I don't want your phone to die. We're going to turn it off. Okay, I'm going to stick it in your purse, and it's going to go in the trunk. All right? The next time that it will come out of my car is whenever we're at the jail. So nobody's going to mess with it, okay? How do we know that? Is that recording? This is recording, and, is. I, and I also have a camera inside of my car. So when we get into court, it will show all of that? Yep. Okay, perfect. All right, watch your knees for me, please. Sounds good. Thank you. You're welcome. So now this is going to be the official one, okay? Mm -hmm. So in about two and a half minutes, I'm going to ask you to provide a sample of your breath for the purpose of determining its alcohol content. Will you provide a sample? Water. After we're done here. You can have the water once we're done in here. Okay. Okay. So would you be willing to provide a sample of your breath for the purpose of determining its alcohol content? Do I have a choice? You can tell me no. But what is that going to do? Okay. If you tell me no, your license will be suspended for a period of one year for a first refusal or 18 months for a second refusal. So if, if it is a second refusal, you can face an additional misdemeanor charge. If you refuse to provide the provide a sample to the test that I'm requesting, it can be it will be admissible into court for any criminal proceedings. With that in mind, do you want to provide a breast sample? I don't know, I just want to go home. Okay, well unfortunately you know we're here now. Alright, you're gonna be able to go home in just a couple hours. So we got about a minute and fifteen seconds. I don't know okay. what's like the right like do you ask for a lawyer or do you like I don't know, I've never been in this situation before. Okay. So what what sure. I just what okay. I hold on. This might talk it. To to explain to you, okay, what I, I what really I just know. explained to you, okay, it's called implied consent. So what it is is whenever you signed for your driver's license, you told the state that you will submit to any lawful test requested of you by a law enforcement officer. Despite her arrest the female continued to scream, demanding an explanation for the disturbance. Her vocal protests persisted as the officer placed her in the police vehicle, adding to the tumultuous nature of the situation. Full test being lawfully requested by a law enforcement officer. So if I call okay. my lawyer tomorrow morning, they're like, you should have done that. They're gonna tell you you can or you can refuse. It's your option. I'm not, I'm not gonna make you do this thing. I'm asking you to do it. Okay. We got about 30 seconds. The instrument's going to do a self check to make sure that it is working properly. Okay. okay. 
So you have from now until the time that I have to ask for a sample to kind of make up your mind, okay? Yeah, Again. I mean, I, I mean, I'll take it. Like, I don't know. Okay. I, mean, I just, I don't Okay, I understand. I don't know. I've never been put in this situation before. I get it. <laughs> like right. Like, I don't know. I've always heard, like, if you go to jail, like, dude. Why not trust me? I understand. Okay, so if you do provide a sample, all right, what I want to show you, these are going to be the mouthpieces. Okay, they're in individual sealed containers, and I put gloves on so that way I'm not touching any part of it. Okay. If you do provide a breath sample, whenever I, I tell you it's time to provide it, you're going to take a normal breath in, and you're going to blow nice and strong like you're blowing up a brand new, really big balloon. Okay. You're going to keep blowing with that strong pressure until I tell you to stop. Okay. <laughs> breath for me. Take a breath. All right. We need to compose ourselves, okay? Again, we gotta have that nice, strong, steady beep, okay? A little hard. I'm gonna keep that going. He knows. I told him that we were like two minutes away whenever I hung up the phone. Okay, I hung up the phone right before we went over the railroad tracks. I understand you'll be able to do that soon. Just remember, as long as you're nice and polite to the jail staff here, they'll be able to get you through that process pretty quick, okay? Alright, so this is just for your information, okay? Do you know what the legal limit to drive uh, with the blood alcohol content is? Okay, it's 0.08%. Okay. okay. So on the first sample that we got, you blew a 0.137. And then on the second sample that we got, you blew a 0.159. So you're almost double the legal limit to be able to drive. Then I struggled to hmm? give a sample of. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's just because you weren't listening on how to provide it. The female faced charges of resisting arrest and driving under the influence, DUI. These charges stemmed from her refusal to comply with law enforcement and her intoxicated state while operating a vehicle. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments section, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. To stay updated on our future videos, click on the notification bell icon after subscribing. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.